a difference between the LSD experience and the DMT experience. I experienced uh, a certain development of the LSD experience also over a period of time, maybe for a year or more. I had some a number of LSD experiences where I d- tried to develop a clearer and clearer picture of my own as to what that experience was. And the first DMT experience was completely of another character, and that's what fascinated me. And I did uh, DMT for a period, and then I stopped. Well, I continued doing uh, LSD for some years afterwards. And my impression is that my DMT experience was completely different after this DMT period, that once this window number two had been opened by DMT, I could access it with LSD. I could go to a variety of places and try to connect them up. But I don't know. This is just an illusion. And also Ray had this uh, uh, opinion, as we did a number of LSD trips together, that she felt that I I had a slightly different window than hers. And the uh, DMT experience is more abstract than the LSD experience. It is farther away from ordinary reality or anything that you could relate to ordinary reality using a language of models, metaphors, poetic expression, and so on. And uh, my experience with um, um, psilocybin mushrooms and peyote also, I would say, is closer to reality, that you see ordinary reality embellished with vibratory fields you see more or less the connection between uh, ordinary reality and this other thing that you could say is enhanced reality. So with uh, DNT, there for me was no residue of ordinary reality whatsoever. And therefore to try to distill some kind of meaning out of those experiences was, was difficult. And for me, because of my training in mathematics, I use mathematics extensively in order to document, record, comment, and so on on my experiences. Uh, For example, in the DMT experience, I would see a uh, vibratory field like uh, uh, fractal computer graphics, which is very animated at high speed also medium speed, also lower speed. So there would be bands in a spectrum of speed, as it were. And these (coughs) activities at different speeds would appear to be different intelligences saying different things or conveying different, completely different categories of information. Um, You could see uh, some coordinated activities in vastly different regions that uh, appeared to be coordinated to such extent that it had to be something like, well, an intelligence, an entity or something, that in ordinary reality would only be accepted as an entity if it were connected, that is, it had a body, as it were. And this not only had more than one body, but it was dispersed through space fractally with a certain frequency, color, it was the dynamic, really, which identified this information. And uh, with uh, LSD in my first uh, series of LSD experiences, before I took DMT, it didn't have that aspect at all. I would uh, have images that were familiar from, let's say, Euclidean geometry, uh, 